describe what your um, residence, like what type of residence it is? Like, mm. is it an apartment complex or a, a house trailer. or a, a trailer? Okay, and a single, fa- like a single, single family trailer. Yes, ma'am, a single family trailer. Okay. okay, and about how long have you lived there? About two years. Um, all right, so how long have you lived in McIntosh County? Ooh, in my whole life. Your whole thir- life? Well, yeah, 36 years. <laughs> okay, so you're born and raised Yes, here. ma'am, right here. Uh, about um, multi-generational? Like how many generations of your family have lived in McIntosh? Um, my grandma and my great-grandma. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. ma'am, so okay. generations. So generations. Yes. Okay, well, I'm... Um, New to Macintosh. I've okay. lived here for <laughs> 10 months. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, no. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, my family's not from here. Oh. So, um, I am from Georgia, but okay. I grew up in middle Georgia. So okay. I was living in northeast Georgia up in the mountains. And oh, now I'm gosh. on the coast. So I'm kind of covering. I haven't done the southwest corner <laughs> at all. But, um, mm. but yeah, so I'm, I'm getting to know this coastal area of the state. Yeah. Um, Okay, so now we're going to talk about um, any experience you have with um, what we call rooftop solar, like so, so home solar power. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it. I've heard people, you know, like talk in the street saying that it was better, but I haven't. I have too much knowledge of it. Yeah, I don't okay. have any. So you, have you ever lived in a home that had rooftop solar? No, ma'am. Yeah. Do you... Um, do you know anyone in the county that has solar power? Yes. Okay. Can you tell me about that? Like, well, I don't know, cause it's not like any one of like the... personal information about it. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, I was going to say because it's like that. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right. I don't want to. So okay. Um, yeah, you don't have to tell any personal information, but is it like um, a neighbor or just someone in the county? Yes, yeah, someone seen in the their county. Property? Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh. That's and then we got to talk, and I was like, oh, okay, that's different, and that's neat. Okay. And they were saying that, yeah, you save energy, you save this and that, and it does this and does that. So okay, okay. But other than that, I've never known anything about it. <laughs> okay. Do you think as a renter that having solar is an option for you? Um, like, if I get the full breakdown of it, it all depends, you know, and then I have to go from there. Right. But I don't know yeah. too much about yeah. it. Uh, so what what are the things that you think you would need to know? Like health wise, <laughs> that's like the biggest health wise. Because okay. you know people say one thing and then ten fifteen years down the line, okay. it'll mean you know okay. something different. And so like, would there so, be any yeah. negatives? negatives. To having mm-hmm. it? Okay, so you'd want to know about the that. pros and the cons. Okay, all right. Do you know of any options to um, like? If so, so say you're a renter or whatnot, and you can't have solar actually mm-hmm. on your home, do you know of any opportunities to like invest in solar or choose solar through your um, power company so that they're like? So sometimes the I don't know if they offer it here because mm-hmm. I don't um, I don't deal with the electric company. It's like included in my rent. Mm-hmm. Um, They'll give you an option to like opt in to solar. And okay. So there, the power company has, mm-hmm. you know, solar farm somewhere where that's offsetting some of the power mm-hmm. on the grid. Do you know mm-hmm. anything? Have you heard of that mm-hmm. here in Macintosh at all? Okay. 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 And so that home that um, you know of, so you know of, of at least one home in Macintosh County mm-hmm. that has solar. Um, do you think there's some like something different about that community or those people that have the solar that makes them that enables them to have the solar or why they would have it whereas no you know no one else you know in the county has it well he um he wasn't from here and then he like lived off in the woods so he was kind of <laughs> okay <laughs> Yeah, maybe yeah. he was trying to be like yeah. off the grid. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think personally, but I really don't know for yeah. sure. But yeah. yeah, I just thought it was strange. And then the more I was like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what you trying here? <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so um, we're going to talk now about just kind of general mm-hmm. um, perspectives. Or, and, and again, there are no right or wrong answers to this. Um, but just in general, what you know of solar power or the requirements for having it or kind of um, 
the type of people that might choose to invest in it. Where across the country do you think um, people have solar on their homes? And you can you can circle, you can shade in, you can write, you can mark it. However, probably in Florida. Okay, and why Florida? Because of all the sun. Okay, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can you just write? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, that's fine. Shading is is fine, and then can you just make the note sunny mm -hmm. next to it? Oh, okay. I mean, because I don't know. Can you like go into a little bit more depth about the solar? Oh, you can't. You know, oh uh, man, yeah, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you want to help me a little I know, bit? <laughs> I know, I know. All I can do is try and get information from you about what you already know. Oh, uh, that sucks. So. I really don't know that. <laughs> and that's fine. That's what we need to know, too, is that uh, people just don't know. Yes. You know, so that's, you know, like I said, no right or wrong. Okay, okay. Um, but, so. You know, as far as this exercise is concerned, you could think about and probably Texas. Um, <laughs> Because yeah. it's real hot there, too. Right. And like like what you're saying, like uh, places that are that are sunny, mm -hmm. you know, and then uh, that and then um, so it's either kind of those geographic things that mm -hmm. would make it easier for solar to be successful mm -hmm. or like types of people. If there are certain types of communities that you think the people would be more likely to have solar. So mm -hmm. um, or if you just happen to have you know, first-hand knowledge of, oh, yeah, like, I know there's tons of solar here, or I visited this place, and I saw yeah, solar okay. panels on people's houses, but if mm -hmm. you don't have that information, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, if you have any other places you want to mark on there, go, go you know, for mm -hmm. it. If not, it's okay, too. So then kind of the same question for the state of Georgia. Mm -hmm. Like, do you know of any areas where solar um, is installed and is being used? And if you don't know firsthand, just where do you think it would be more likely to Probably be Probably where people grow plants and stuff, you know, to help protect the plants and stuff. I'm trying to think what county is, like, big, like, Tatno and all that. Where is that? Mm -hmm. What are those counties? Um... Look, look, I have a map right here. In Valdea, you know, places right, like that. Yeah, I, I don't... mean, they're, gosh, I can't even find that. No, I know they're like, at least that's what I thought it was. Apparently, <laughs> oh, there it is. It's not as far away from us as I thought. It's just it borders Long and Liberty. So there's Tatnall. I'm going to just, oh. can I just circle this area? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to be super specific. Yeah, I'm going to just say this area right up in here. Okay. They should have it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, anywhere else? I'm I'm thinking like are those big old things that be out in the fields? Are those solar like energy savers or anything? Or you can't answer me on if that. If you one, see but. like if you're talking about it, just looks like a big flat black mm -hmm. panel. And they're usually angled. Yes. Way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. those, those are, are exactly solar. what I'm talking about. Cause yeah. see, like going up to Atlanta, I see those all the time. Okay. So I'm gonna just say maybe on this market. It's like those back roads. Mm -hmm. I see mm -hmm. those a lot. I don't know if it's this way or this way though. I'm gonna just say. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. Um, okay, so, um, and, and just, again, just if you could tell me a little bit more about, like, why you think it occurs in those areas. Okay. Oh, because of farming. Okay. And, um, so what, what do you think would, um, would inspire people? to use solar? Like, what would be the reasons to have solar? Well, I mean, I heard it saves on energy and stuff like that, but, okay. and your bills, your electric bill and stuff, but I don't know. Okay, so maybe to help reduce, reduce your mm -hmm. power costs. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. And, do, um, sorry if I've already asked you this, but mm -hmm. do, you, do you, so you know that, you've seen that one home that has it, but mm -hmm. any of your friends, family, whether they're in Macintosh or anywhere, that do you know of anyone mm -hmm. that has um, solar at their home? No, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, I, neither. I know uh, <laughs> a couple farmers in Georgia, but like small farmers that just mm -hmm. have put in some small to like power part of their greenhouse yeah. or like something small like that, but I don't really know anybody either. Mm -hmm. 
That's why I was like, why is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so why do you think um, it, we that we don't have it here? Well, that's a question. I don't <laughs> because they don't want us to save. <laughs> Well, okay, so yeah. Because the, they'll be the, start losing out on money and okay. other things. The, I mean, they being the power companies. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a thought. And then, you know, maybe then again, they don't know exactly the con- the pros, I mean the cons of mm-hmm. it, so they want to research it a little bit more. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, all right, so now we're going to switch gears into the some food um, questions. Okay. And so um, this is, uh, these are questions just to kind of gauge up there, you know, what the challenges are that people have in different communities across the state mm-hmm. with accessing food. Um, and, that, and, and also kind of gauging like what um, people's food habits are. So first, can you, <laughs> can you start with kind of telling me what your daily food routine is? Oh. <laughs> Mm, let me see. I don't. I know I'm not right, but I'm not big on breakfast. I'm not. Okay. So, I don't. When I do, I get like a sandwich or something like that, a breakfast sandwich. But for lunch, I eat fast food. Okay. If I cook, I cook, and I do like uh, rice, a meat, a vegetable. Mm-hmm. You know the basic. Okay. So or, lunch, you're mainly getting fast food. Is mm-hmm. that because you're at work? Because I'm at work. Yes, ma'am. Is. Well, sometimes I do, and it's most time, you know, I try to cook, you know, and bring leftovers because yeah, I can yeah. save like that. I right. save money. So. so are you typically cooking something yes. for dinner? Mm-hmm. And I cook enough for leftovers so right. I can take yeah. to work. Yeah. Yes, yeah. ma'am. And you noted um, there are how many people in your household? Um, right. four all together. My girls. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so you're the you're the primary food shopper, mm-hmm. food preparer. Yes, all of that. everything. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so, where are you typically getting food? From high by low. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unless when I get a chance, you know, I try to go over and shop in Brunswick because, Jesus Christ, it's so expensive over here. But I try to go over to um, Brunswick to Walmart and stuff like that. And I try to shop around. Yeah. I always try to shop for bargains and sales and deals. Yeah, mm-hmm. trying to find the best. Oh, yes. Buy you can get for your money. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, okay, so the, the Bilo here in Darien, that's your closest yes. grocery store to mm-hmm. you? And is that um, closer to home or closer to work? Work. Okay. Mm-hmm. okay. Um, and so you might have breakfast and then you have some fast food for lunch. You pick something for dinner. Mm-hmm. Are you a snacker? Like, do you snack between meals or you pretty much just eat your... Well, now that I've been freaking here, I'm a snack of a two yeah. meals. But before this, I didn't do it. Yeah. But now it's like I'm down in a drug getting a candy yeah. bar, some chips or cookies. And I try to get like little bags of, um, with the nuts and the fruits and stuff yeah, in them. I keep, mix, yeah, so. it's a little trail mix. I have to keep those because if not, I find myself nagging on candy bars and stuff and yeah. they're a little bit more healthier. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I do the same thing. <laughs> And so, it most uh, would you say that most evenings, or how many times a week do you cook? Like three. Okay. Mm-hmm. About three meals a week. Yeah. All right. Because I cook a meal, then we do something light, and I cook a meal, do something light, like burgers and fries, or hot dogs and fries, and then I yeah. cook a big, you know, a meal okay, meal. meal. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And about how often are you having to go grocery shopping? I go like every week. About once a week? Yeah. Or more than, mm-hmm. or are you like that? I've somehow turned into like I'm you know almost every, <laughs> every day. day you know instead of having like a plan for the week I'm just like what am I gonna eat today I gotta go get something from it's the grocery expensive store expensive like that yeah. I find myself oh my gosh spending way more than what I yeah. intended to yes yeah, lord I, I do better on planning <laughs> um all right and so when you go to the grocery store mm-hmm. what's your approach to grocery shopping mm. Like, what am I going to look for? The like, do oh. you have a... Agenda? A, a, oh, a yes. plan? Do you have a strategy for how to move through the grocery store? Mm-hmm. I go to the meats first, and I always look and see what's on sale and what's the deal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then I go from there. I'm like, okay, once I got my meat, I'm like, okay, well, then I'm going to do mashed potatoes with this. Now let me go over to the vegetables. Okay. Whether I'm going to get canned or if 
the squash and stuff on sale. Now, if my squash and stuff on sale, then I got to get the fresh fruits. But if, I mean, the fresh veggies. Yeah. But if it's not on sale and it's too much, then I just go for the can. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you, you kind of plan yes. based on what meat's available mm-hmm. to you. Okay. All right. All right. So um, when it comes to being able to, to feed yourself and your family, are, do you have any challenges, any hurdles to being able to access the food? the food that you need for your family mm-hmm. like sometimes it's like hard especially when you want to eat healthy mm-hmm. is it's too expensive if it was just me you know it would have been one thing but mm-hmm. trying to buy for all of us and take the school well my because one of my daughters mm-hmm. allergic to a lot of stuff so trying to her take her stuff to school plus okay. my meals yeah okay. it gets expensive so food allergies is a challenge mm-hmm. uh, expense is a challenge yes Okay, do you find that um, what is available here in our local grocery store, is that a challenge? Like, they just don't have the stuff that you're looking for? Well, they do. It's just, it's high. Yeah, it's just like, if I, I could go and, like, for instance, um, what you call it? Bell peppers. Ooh, I just got dizzy. Uh-huh. You can go right here to Bilo, you're going to get one for a dollar, but if you go to Bronxville, you could get two or three for a dollar. Yeah. So it's like the price difference. Yeah, yeah, and that really adds up when you're yes. feeding a family versus just oh, feeding yes. one person. Yeah. 